An incident involving a construction crane on top of a high rise in Burnaby last Friday had a busy intersection shut down for hours. A part of a derrick crane that was involved in the disassembly of a tower crane uh, failed and, and was hanging out over the street. WorkSafe BC issued a stop work order immediately and is investigating the cause. Thankfully, no one was injured. The piece that was hanging was hanging fairly precariously and, and had it fallen and hit part of the building on the way down, it could have landed in the street. The International Union of Operating Engineers pushing for stricter regulations and training for crane operators, citing the deadly construction accident in Kelowna that killed five people back in July of 2021, where the dismantling of a crane was also involved. The amount of construction that's going on in the province, the amount of crane erections and disassembles that are happening on an annual basis when you've got sort of an average of 350 tower cranes up and down in a year. There's a lot of these that happen and there's a lot of risk that is associated with this work. So making sure that there is competent people doing that work is vitally important. According to WorkSafe BC's website, the developer behind this project, Ani Contracting Limited, has been fined three times prior to this incident. The most recent one was in March of 2023, also in Burnaby, which involved a grinding disc that fell 35 stories and struck a worker. What really needs to change with some contractors is just the culture around safety in their workplaces and, and making sure that corners aren't being cut in, in terms of just trying to save a few bucks. The union has been working with WorkSafe BC to reform tower crane safety with suggestions like full lane closures during setup and takedown and permit extensions to reduce pressure on the workers. Ani Contracting did not respond to a request for comment before the broadcast. In Burnaby, Cecilia Hua, City News.